<laughs> yeah, well, we, we were rehearsing in uh, Copenhagen trying to write the next uh, album. And um, we had a new drummer because Koji had left. So we had this new drummer with this huge fucking hairdo. And uh, talk about hair. And uh, we, we would go to this rehearsal room. And some days there'd be like two people there. Another day there'd be three of us there. One day there'd be just me there. Nobody was interested, especially Richie. I'm just supposed to be, you know, making up new songs for the new album. And uh, I think the laziness was because we had a song from Russ Ballard again, yeah. uh, a song called I Surrender. And that's the only song we had. And uh, I said to Roger Glover, I said, well, what are we going to do? We haven't got anything. He said, well, we've got I Surrender, the Russ Ballard tune. He said, do you want to go in and do the backing harmony? I said, yeah, get, we'll start there at least. So I went in and did some backing harmonies, which weren't used in the end, I don't think. Uh, and that was kind of it. I didn't do a lead vocal on it at all. And uh, it was very, uh, not very, it wasn't productive at all. Because uh, Richie wasn't coming in and showing us what to do, you know. And uh, some some days he would. And uh, anyway, it just got to like, well, what the fuck are we, what are we doing? You know, we had nothing. And time was passing by. And, you know, the, the album was, I suppose, started recording like yesterday. <laughs> and, uh, okay, well, we've got got to I Surrender. Yeah, okay. Well, what else have we got? So, you know, we sitting looking at each other and Don says, Don Airy says, I'm going to go home. Oh, no, don't go home. Bro. Come on, no, no, Don. We, I need you here because of, you know, me and Don are very, me, me and Don and Cozy, very close, three musketeers. And when Cozy was gone, it was like, oh, fuck, kidding me. Anyway, Don says, I'm going, I don't, I don't like the new... The, new, you know, the drummer and everything. It's just cozy has gone. It's not the same. And nobody's turning up for rehearsal anyway. So uh, he said, I'm going to go home. And I said, well, um, if you go home, Don, I'll go home too, because I'm not finding this very interesting or exciting or what either. Nothing's happening. So I went home and he didn't. <laughs> he, he stayed. He said, you bloody, you bloody bastard. So he stayed. And I thought I, I said to him, I thought you were going to leave. And he, anyway, he didn't. And uh, I got a phone call from uh, our manager, the band manager, who said, "Well, are you coming back?" And I said, "No, I, I want to do something else." And I thought Don was going to leave. Don's still with the band, yeah? Yes, he's still with the band. He said, "Well, I said, well, I don't, uh, I don't know what to do." He said, "Well, we found another singer, and if you come in and sing the songs you'd like." And let this other singer sing the song you don't like, whatever that means. And uh, we'll go that way. I said, no, that, that doesn't work. Two singers in Rainbow. Yeah. No, I can't, I can't see that, you know. And uh, so I left the band. I wasn't fired, although people like to think I was, <laughs> because I had another haircut or something. <laughs> oh, come out the bathroom, wet hair like this. <laughs> you know, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so... Um, that, that was it for me. And uh, I found a guy in LA, uh, a guy called Andy Truman, who had a good um, reputation. He managed Jethro Tull, the Bass City Rollers, uh, a, a bunch of different people, you know, all different uh, genre. And uh, my one of my friends introduced me to him and he took over management. And so he said, well, Brian, what you should do is get yourself a band together. And that's how Alcatraz was formed in my garage. Calabasas. And uh, that took a while too. But that's what I wanted to do was form my own band uh, that was similar to Rainbow, have the same kind of lined up keyboards, guitar, you know, bass, you know, that kind of a lineup. And that's what happened then. You know. 